My name is Rob Ray. We're here at the uh, MP3 Car and Innovative Technology Headquarters, and we just got these new toys from Parrot. Uh, they are wirelessly controlled devices that you control through your iPad. Uh, let's go take a look. So to turn the thing on, you just quickly plug in the power cable, and that gives it power. Uh, then your indoor shroud goes on top. So this is as if you hit a wall, you don't immediately break your blade. Uh, next step is, is that uh, Sean here is going to turn on his uh, iPad and uh, we connect via Wi-Fi to the AR drone. After we've connected to the AR drone, we can then launch the control app. This AR drone has two cameras, one pointing out the front and uh, another one looking straight down. So uh, what Sean's going to do is uh, he's cycling the cameras now. So now he's looking down through the bottom camera and he can touch it again and then get picture in picture so that uh, the, the bottom camera shows looking out the bottom and the other camera shows out the front and it's a great way to to fly it so you can fly it around your building and uh, not necessarily see where the drone is so to take off you just hit this button here on the iPad and all four blades spin and it takes off and uh, pretty much corrects uh, stabilizes itself and then um, Sean can use his hand controls to control uh, where the helicopter is going. I'm going to zoom down in here on his hand controls so you can see what this looks like uh, when you're flying it. Um, we're looking at uh, Steven and Gotse there. Uh, Mike's wrapping some presents here at the office. But another control method that we could use if we wanted to would be to uh, put the iPad into accelerometer mode and what that is is it's a fancy word uh, which allows you to control the device by tilting the iPad back and forth. Um, it's much harder to control it this way but uh, we'll, we'll show you quickly how that works. Parrot's AR drone is $300. You can get it at a number of online resellers. And uh, the battery charges in about 90 minutes, and then you get about 15 minutes of battery life. <laughs> One of the other things that you have to know about is that you'll break it, you'll crash it, but when you do that, the parts aren't too expensive. They are about 10 bucks for a pack of four propellers, and I broke a drive shaft, which has a gear on it, and that's about 10 bucks as well. So overall, the maintenance isn't too expensive. It's a great fun toy, and if you're a software or a computer geek, you can make your own software to fly the thing around. There's a full software developer kit. So check it out, lots of fun. Thanks for watching our blog.